Grunkle Games. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. This is Grunkle Games. We are board gaming. On a budget. On a budget. For December especially. <laughs> yeah. Holidays. You want to find some good games with not a lot of money. And this is the last episode of the year. And at the end of the episode, we're going to be announcing another winner. You're going to take home a game. If you did not comment on the last episode, the King Domino episode, we're very sorry. But there's always a few Next months year. from now. That's right. Yeah. Going into the new year. So, why don't you roll the die, babe? Okay. It's going to tell us what we can spend. There's We can put on this little box if you want. What have we spent so far? Let's see. Mysterium. Was 30? Was, I think it was between 30 and 40. It was just under 40. And then King Domino was 20. 10 to 20. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we can find. Hold out your hands. I'm going to roll on your hands. My little teeth. I hope I... Three? Yeah. So 30 to 40? Three is uh, 20 to 30. 20 to 30. That's a very good range. I love that range. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go find a great game, baby. Okay. Let's go play together. P.S. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi. <laughs> we have two special guests with us. You may remember them from <laughs> last year's Halloween episode. This is our uh, mom, Jen. Hi. And stepdad, Paul. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the game we're playing is called Labyrinth. It's by Ravensburger. Ages 7 to 99, which is pretty generous, I think. <laughs> I that. Two How to long? four players. This is 20 to 30 minutes, but oh. this is an older game. There's we over 20 million copies sold. So our budget, just... if you remember, it was between 20 and $30. Okay. And this game is 25 And it is a race for treasures in a moving maze. <laughs> so that's the hook of the game. It's a very simple game to play, and so I'm just going to explain it really quick to everybody. Uh, how we set it up is the game comes with these little labyrinth tiles, and we just mix them up and place them on the board. Randomly. Then, yes, each of us has a player piece, and you set them on their starting colors. You're, each of us is dealt out six cards. We're not supposed to look at them, so keep them face down. And what you do is each of us uh, are going to take the top card and look at them privately. And that is the treasure in the maze that you're trying to reach. Each turn that you have, you get to take this extra piece and squeeze it into the maze somewhere. And you're moving the maze as you do it. So let's say I was trying to go for um, this spider right here. On my turn, I can move anywhere in the maze that the trail is consecutive and connected. But here is not connected to where I am. So I'd have to try and you know, move, get this piece, and slide it into the maze. But what if you knock off somebody's treasure that they're going for? Then that treasure piece, what happens is it has to be put in by the next player. Oh, uh -oh, so we don't all use this same piece. No. So we use a different piece. We use the piece that's pushed off. Right, every time. Okay. So then, if I did that, I'd be able to reach, you know, the the map or whatever I was going for. So I thought you were going for the spider. Right, but I knocked it out. So you kind of got to think. You got to be mm. smart how you're doing it. And that's how it works. The first person to reach all their treasures Dang. wins. We're <laughs> just mazed and confused. Here. <laughs> <laughs> how about Jen goes first? I like that idea. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you're <a> stuck up. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so any of the spots where there's a yellow arrow, you can push and move the maze. Babe feels like I gang up on her. She does, he does gang up on me. I, don't, I disagree. There is a way to play for younger children, and it's that you can look at all of them at once and go for any one that you want. Because hmm. that speeds it up and it's easier for it's easier the for niños. Me. Hey, it's my turn. No. Nope. <laughs> Chee -chee. I want to go. Woo! All right. Now, baby, your turn is in progress. 
I like how simple this game is. There aren't a lot of crazy rules or, you know, it can really get going. Mm -hmm. But also, you it's very creative. gotta kind of think about what you want. And each of these player pieces is unique. Cute. They're not all the same looking like in, like, you know, Sorry or... Trouble. I have a lady. Mine's an old woman. Uh, with a big old nose. Did you know that your nose and your ears keep growing even after you die? So if you dig someone up, they just have like Dumbo ears? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! So the rules say when your player piece gets pushed out of the maze, you just put it all the way on the other side. You're kind of teleported. I feel like we need like quirky like accordion music when we play this. <laughs> accordion labyrinth music. Mm -hmm. Like polka. No, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> like this. Put it by the mic so everybody can really hear that. Here we go, guys. Wonder. Babe, what do you look do you listen to this when I'm not around? <laughs> Check it, check it. Ooh. You found the lizard. I got my lizard! Doesn't it kind of feel like that vibe, though? Or do you disagree? What's the vibe you feel? A lot of, like, maracas and, like, drums. Like, sh 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 like you're, it's dark in the, in, the, in the labyrinth. It's hard to, to find that labyrinthine genre of music. What about belly dancing music? That might work. Oh, oh this yeah. is the best so far. Yeah, this is labyrinthine. Like running through? Yeah. I hope you all noticed in the last episode, Jess and I both played King Domino tiles that we shouldn't have. We went back and retallied the King <clears throat> Domino score, and instead of being like 42 to 48, it was 43 to 42. So basically been barely still one. Squeaking but... by. <sighs> I love this next skull, guys. <sighs> she finally got the skull and crossbones. Good job, Mom. Good job. What's the age, base age number? I think it was 7 to 99. I'm a little bit closer to 7. Paul's a little bit closer to 99. <laughs> Looks like it. Real struggles. <laughs> winning. Winning is struggling. In all seriousness, this is, might not be the kind of game where you can like plan multiple turns ahead because from the end of one of your turns to the start of your next turn, the whole thing has changed completely. So you're kind of taking it turn by turn. Wow, you're ready, but you can't push it there, baby. Yeah, you gotta, because there's no yellow, find the yellow arrow. arrows. These ones are glued in. You gotta be really angry to move those columns. <laughs> Ugh. Then you gotta buy a new copy of the game. Ghost with hair. <laughs> you can tell it's a marriage when, like, I don't want to win. I just want to <laughs> beat Jess. Is that how you feel? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right now? Yes. <laughs> Paul feels it too. <laughs> Good job, mom. Wow, she got the bat. Yeah. <laughs> With the sand hat. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, did you put your nail on him to make it look like he had a Santa hat? Even though it's really a nail. Darren's got nice nails for the holidays. I'm going to push me off because right now that's my only option. Ooh, that's a fun strategy. So, let's go. Wouldn't it be cool if that's what you needed? Oh, someone knocked my old woman over. <laughs> that was not in the Christmas I'm the spirit. Red dude, huh? Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, Paul scored the oh princess. Oh my gosh, I am so behind. <laughs> I always win. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> Who's got that ego now? Me. It's there. It's there. And it's loud and proud. Now? Okay. Maybe you should ask mm. the maze to move for you, and it will help you out. Like the room of requirement in Hogwarts Castle. Mm. 
the door will just pop up and it'll open up to a ghost with hair if you need it. <laughs> Whoa, do you guys feel that? The labyrinth is moving. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to win the game? Are you serious? I just got the freaking tile I needed. <laughs> Look at my candelabra. <laughs> All right, Liberace, better luck next time. <laughs> You're such a turd. Before we announce the winner of the giveaway, what did you honestly think about this game? Oh, We've yeah, played a few really different reviewer. games on the holidays, but where does this... This was one? fun. I enjoyed it. Simple. This is a very simple, simple. fun game that you can really frustrate your opponents. <laughs> yeah. It's always it. a win for Paul. And, and Benjamin, clearly, yeah. This holiday, we've struggled to find games where we could play it with us, as well as our grandma and our great-grandma, but this might be one that so they all might this. be able to play. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, it's pretty darn simple. I agree. Grammy might be a little hard still, but yeah, she's in her mid-80s. True. Late 80s. Late 80s. I would say a 10 out of 10 would recommend. Good wow. gift, Targi. Thank you to our realtor. If any of you need to find a home, <laughs> we have the guy for you. That's right. But okay. seriously. Yeah, I am serious. Okay, babe, let's draw. We had three big whopping entries for this one. I think the holidays might have thrown everybody off, but all the more for these three people. So ready? The 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 entries were Mysterium. Yeah. Uh, King, King Domino, Domino and, and Labyrinth. Labyrinth. So winner gets to choose one of those three games. Which one is it going to be? Conqueror! Oh. The boys are going to be so mad! <laughs> Conqueror is a new subscriber this month. Yeah, we're he's excited to share with him. said he's new to the board game hobby, and so... This will be perfect. Yeah, this will add to his collection. So be sure to check out the three games and... Send me a, a message or a comment over YouTube, and we'll make sure you get the game. Congratulations! Yay! Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year! Merry Christmas from Grunkle Games! Merry Christmas!